Hey, I'm Buck with Buck Wild Innovations, and today we're going to do a little product instructional and informational video on our bell and ring mover spear. And uh, first of all, we'll start out with what is it? And it is a hay spear designed for anybody feeding with a three point hitch only tractor that is tired of moving hay rings by hand, basically. Now, we came up with this. Um, this to go to show it doesn't matter what size operation you're running. When we designed this, we were running or feeding 100 mama cows on a couple different locations. Now, we had a few tractors with front loaders, but now we can't spread them out on all these different locations. We didn't have one farm big enough to hold everything. So on these separate places, we'd have one small tractor such as this just to set out a round bell, and then we'd have to go move all the rings by hand. And on a day like today when it's freezing rain and spitting snow, that's a long, cold day. So we come up with this. Now, after a few years of using this, we even end up putting one on our tractor with a front loader, and it sped up the process a lot with that. Usually, you don't damage rings too bad with a front loader spear when you're moving them. It all depends on how careful you are and the structural integrity of the ring itself. But after a while of using one, there's no going back for us. So we even put them on our front loaders and got many customers doing just the same. I guess you'd kind of say it's like a lawnmower. The push mower was mowing yards way before the riding mower. And the riding mower was mowing yards way before the zero turn, and yet we still got the zero turn. It's all about speed and efficiency. Now we'll go over the design a little bit here. Now these hooks are what actually do the lifting. And these hooks are adjustable up and down and left and right. When it comes to cattle rings, the left and right doesn't really come into play. They'll pick it up just about anywhere. But now where this comes into play is horse rings. The rings that we feed are a tombstone style, and so we've got our hooks set out as wide as they'll go to make sure we've got plenty of room to get into those hoops. The top link and the three-point arms are just like any other three-point implement, except for the fact that we have four different locations for this top link, and that is all for multiple different tractor sizes, for tractors small like this to big tractors, to be able to get enough lift height to clear a large bale with the hay ring. And the hay spear itself is on a hinge assembly. So once you pick up the ring and place it over the hay bale, as the ring is going down, when the spear makes contact with the hay bale, it simply folds up out of the way and allows the bell and ring mover spear to lower to the ground and to fully seat the ring on the ground so you can drive out of it. Another handy aspect of this spear being on a hinge is when you have the tractor parked in the barn and you've got animals and maybe kids running around on four wheelers that you don't want impaled, you can simply fold the spear up and we keep a little chain with a snap on ours. It just keeps it secured up and out of the way for safety. Now when you first put your ring mover on, you'll need to set it. The best way to set it is to get a ring on level ground and then hook it up to your tractor and back up, lower it all the way to the ground, and put your top link in the very first or bottom hole. Twist it and level your spear, and then set the hooks a little bit below the top ring of your hay ring. Then back up, lift the ring up, and see if you clear the bale. If you do not clear the hay bale, then you'll need to pull back up, set the hay ring down, move your top link up one hole, twist it, level your spear again, and then try again. And you continue to do this until you clear the bale. Now you don't want to just start off at the top hole. The reason being is if you have a canopy or a cab tractor and you start off up here, it could lift it too high and get into your cab or your canopy. Now, as you know, the steeper or the more off from level the top link is when you start, then as you lift, the sooner these hooks pull back. Because as this lifts, it comes back. So you want the top link to be as level as possible. So if you have the option to raise or lower the back, do so to keep this as level as possible. If your top link is so steep that as you lift, it pulls the hooks back too fast, you can twist your top link and give the spear a slight downward tilt. This will allow your hooks to be inward and have more time lifting up before they come back without interfering your ability to stab the bale. 
Now one place to really get a lot more lift height on the tractor is the three-point arm itself. Now some tractors have an extension here where you squeeze or pull a pin and extend the arm out or where the actual lift arm attaches to the three-point arm there will be a pin that you pull and move the lift arm to a further out location pin again or further in but that's one place you can get the most lift height the easiest